Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Tech Town. I hope that guys you are understanding everything till now you have learned in the Python. So topic for our today video is the list. As in the earlier video, I have told you that in the upcoming videos we will discuss about the list and the collection. So today we will just start with the list. So you will just open any project folder. And now coming to the very basic question. So what are list? Okay. So list are the ordered collections of items or data types we can say. Okay. And you can store any type of data type in your list. For an example, you can also store integer. You can also store string. You can also store float. So all these three data types you can store in the list. There are no issues. I hope that this thing is very much clear to you. It's just simple guys. There is no rocket science. It is an ordered collection of items and then items can be integer float and string. And now coming to the another part like how you can create a string uh, sorry list in the Python. So now coming to that point. Now suppose guys you have to store the number and there are multiple numbers they are not a single so what you have to do you have to just simply create a variable and in this you have to store the number okay okay sorry I, we have to use the comma in between and now if i have to print this list so i have to just simply print the number shift plus enter see guys now list is being printed on the screen as you can see and now for an another example now suppose guys you have to store a string in the form of list you can also do that for example create a variable okay and in this like suppose apple guys you can create the string as i have told you in this to inverted comma and for an another example take okay so now if you have to print this just simply print the variable word see guys the string all the letters is being printed and suppose now if you have to store different type of data type like you have to store integer also you have to store float and string also now for an example create a variable and in it suppose you have created okay and store the number also Okay, and you can store the float also. And if, if you have to print, just have to print the variable. See guys, now the mixed items being printed on your screen, you can see. So this is a very easy thing. And now I will tell you like, suppose if you have to uh, access the any specific letter or a integer, in this string how you can do that okay suppose you have to print the this digit 2 on your screen so how you can do that so you just have to simply see the position of 2 in this list okay now starting from this one so it is at 0 1 okay so this sec, uh, two digit is on the like second second place uh, i hope that you are understanding this so 0 1 and so you just have to simply print the one. Sorry, you have to. Okay. And one. See guys, you can see that two is now printed on the screen. So this is how you can use the slicing. Okay. So what is this method called slicing? Okay, now you will be like bit confused. 
like what is this slicing so let me explain you so now coming to the byte how we see the position of the item which we have to print on the screen so how it is being calculated so suppose we were having okay we were having a list number okay beta guys okay so okay so how we have created a list okay so now coming to the point how we calculate the position so the position start with this okay so this is at 0 1 2 3 and so on and in the reverse if we have to see the position so is minus 1 and minus 2 and so on so this is how we see the position of the item which we have we have to print so now i will show you like how you can do the slicing in your compiler okay friends now coming to the point like suppose you have to only print this starting three digit so now what you have to do so you have to now see the position okay so one is on zero zero one two and you have to add on one digit extra every time okay so now you have to just simply put zero and the three is on second and you have to add the one so you have to put the three and now see guys now only the starting three digit is being printed and now suppose if you have to only print the last digit so how you can do this so as i have told you in the reverse order it start with the negative one so you only have to just print the negative one and see guys it's very simple you can learn it with a little bit, little bit of practice and everything will be very much clear and one more thing guys like suppose if you are not giving any starting value to it okay so it will always consider it as a zero now suppose i am not given it uh, so now if i print the three see guys now it is start calculating from the zero position i hope this thing is very much clear i hope that you will like this video and please subscribe to our channel devtown